Are you ready to make serious money as a writer? In this video, I'm gonna share 10 books that helped me make more than $500,000 with my writing. The first book is called $100 Million Offers by Alex Hormozzi. And this book teaches you how to properly package your products and services so that people wanna buy them. This is something I used for other areas of my business like my coaching courses and consulting, but they also taught me valuable lessons about how to structure my writing and even get people in the door to read it in the first place. So a lot of the principles in the book talk about understanding your audience. It talks about things like picking the right market to put your content out for in the first place, selecting the right niche, right? The niche you pick can make or break your success. It also talks about really having a deep understanding of your audience and who you're talking to so that you can frame your solutions to their problems and make them fit like a glove. So there's several exercises and examples in the book that will literally teach you how to build an offer that people will feel dumb saying no to from scratch. So it's a great book for building a business and a product line, but it's also really a book any writer should read if they wanna be more compelling and understand who they're talking to and how they can solve the problems through writing. The next book is called Influence the Psychology of Persuasion by Robert Cialdini. This book teaches you a bunch of foundational persuasion principles that's gonna make it a lot easier for you to attract and retain readers. It teaches you really how to study human nature. There are a lot of different psychological levers you can pull to get people to do what you want. Things like reciprocity, authority bias, liking tendency, and all of the other persuasion principles that he lists in the book. So this was really one of the core books I read in the beginning of my writing career and gave me a lot of these concepts that helps me feel like I'm inside of my audience's head and really gets them to engage with my content. One of my biggest takeaways from the book is this concept of social proof. So people wanna see that other people like stuff before they jump on board, which is why it's so important. For example, if you wanna sell a book, you wanna make sure that you have a lot of people early on that will leave reviews because it will get other people to buy. College of Persuasion is a fundamental persuasion book that every writer should read. The next book on the list is called On Writing by William Zisner. On Writing is, in my opinion, the best nonfiction writing book that you could find. It gives you every single tool you need to write clear and compelling content for your readers. One of the biggest issues with writers is that they have too much fluff in their content and they need to learn how to edit it down and leave the, leave the readers with just the things they need to know. So on writing, goes through and shows you so many different tips and tricks. I remember I was reading the book and I was taking notes on it and it was like I was taking a note every other sentence because just like the book preaches, it left nothing but valuable words for you to read. So if you wanna become a real deadly clear and compelling writer, that's the book for you. The next book on the list is called The War of Art from Stephen Pressfield. And this is a good book for creative people to help overcome their self-doubt. And it was a book that motivated me quite a bit in the beginning when I was facing a lot of issues with struggling and self-doubt when I was just getting started out. So this book all talks about the concept of resistance, which is like this heavy, ominously like evil force of self-doubt that seems to just wash over you, right? You felt it where you've had so much self-doubt and it just feels like this monumental weight to overcome. Well, this book talks about how you defeat the resistance by taking action, by becoming a professional with your work, and by showing up to do the work every single day. In terms of motivational books for creative people, it's far and away my favorite, most useful book that I've read over and over again to help me stay the course in my eight year journey as a writer. The next book on the list is Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. Now, Rich Dad, Poor Dad taught me the importance of building assets that pay you over and over again after you make them once. It also taught me the importance of leveraging myself instead of just trading time for money. So I have many assets in my business that earn relatively passively. I have books, I have courses, I have programs. 
I have marketing systems that help promote all these things. So I realized that if I wanted to make a lot of money, I had to divorce my time from the way that I earned. And this helped spur the concept that led to me creating all of these things to where I get notifications of money coming into my account every single day from things I did six months ago, years ago, so on and so forth. So it's a great book on learning the fundamentals of how to think like a rich person. The next book is called Contagious by Jonah Berger. And this book taught me how to come up with ideas for content that really stuck and resonated with people. It taught me a lot of important concepts of how to get my content shared. So one of my favorite takeaways from the book is this idea of social currency. Basically, you want to create content that makes other people look good for sharing it. So you want to make them feel smart for sharing your stuff. You want to make your content seem exclusive. And like if they're sharing it, they're in the know. You want to make them feel a part of that little club. So he has an entire framework that he walks through with different ways to create ideas that you don't just have to promote all on your own, that they're so good that they will spread on their own and people will talk about your content and you'll get views and engagement all from word of mouth. The next book is called Steal Like an Artist by Austin Kleon. And this book taught me how to borrow ideas from several people and remix them in my own words. So if you wanna create content, there's really nothing you can do to create something super original. But if you borrow from many different places, then your writing has an original feel to it because you remix and synthesize the ideas, right? So there's a concept in the book it's basically, I think it's a quote from Pablo Picasso, and he says, good artists copy, but great artists steal, right? So you see all these books that I have in the background. I'm, I have all these different ideas coalescing in my head, and then I mix them up and give them back out to you, sprinkle in some life experience, and that's how you create unique writing. So stop trying to reinvent the wheel. Learn how to steal like an artist. The next book is called Expert Secrets by Russell Brunson. And this book taught me how to position myself as an expert and find a tribe of like-minded people who I could share my ideas with and ultimately turn my writing into a full-time business. A lot of writers struggle with the idea of being an expert, which is why they don't feel they have anything to share. But this book goes through and takes an inventory of the things you've been through, the things you've learned, the things you could turn into an expert business and you could build your writing around those ideas. It teaches you not just how to like build an audience, but to really start a movement of people who all have similar goals so you can have that energy and engagement and creativity that it really takes to build the sort of audience it takes to make the amount of cash that myself and other top writers have been able to make. The next book is called Building a Story Brand by Donald Miller. This book walks you through the process of educating your audience and eventually getting them to engage and buy with you through the power of storytelling. So it talks about how it is you can shape your story and tell people where you went from where you started in order to help them see the vision. And then it also shows you how to walk them through their own story arc to eventually lead through success via your writing. So it talks about how to basically put your audience through that hero's journey and build their confidence up and lead them to that outcome that they're really looking for, that dream outcome. And the last book on the list is Relentless by Tim Grover. This is a book about how to have the relentless attitude it takes to put in a ton of work and succeed. So it talks about how to be the type of person who sets goals, goes after them, does everything possible to succeed and then once they hit that goal they just move on to the next highest mountain so this is a book that's going to teach you how to be an extreme high achiever and help you do exactly what's necessary to make it to the next level in your writing career so you can start having those big paydays building a huge audience and becoming the world-class writer you know that you're supposed to be if you just read those 10 books combined with building a writing habit and doing some of the other things talked about on this channel, you'd be pretty much guaranteed to hit six figures as a writer. So I hope you enjoyed those books. I hope you check some of them out and I will see you on the next video.